Good morning YouTube and welcome back to the farm. It's a chilly morning outside today but I had to get a few things work, a uh, few things done out here in the barn and I had a couple things I needed to work on and uh, yeah we've got a whole bunch of hardware that needs to be restored and by restored I mean cleaned up to the point where you can go and take the nuts and actually you know put them on and take them off and they're not not all crusty and rusty anymore and of course I'm gonna go and treat them with the rust treatment now the bolts that came off of the plates or the shoes or the grousers or whatever you want to call them I call them shoes um, a couple of them were pretty messed up and these are relatively specialized pieces of hardware they're a fine, fine thread and they're from what I understand it's kind of an oddball length and size although I haven't really looked that up but I wanted to try to use the original hardware that I took off of the tractor and yeah uh, that was next to impossible because a couple of them were messed up one of them was messed up and one of them was really messed up and I took a little tiny needle file just like I showed in my other video except I used a much smaller, much finer needle file that's normally used for jewelry. And I went into these fine threads and found where the ones had been collapsed and pushed down or uh, uh, smashed off to the side and I went and actually cleaned those threads back up. Went and put a little bit of anti-seize on it, put it into my vise here like this and then uh, put a little, little dab of anti-seize on it and then went and took a, a wrench and wrenched them all the way down and wrenched them all the way out. After I went and ran them in and out a couple of times, we have no more problems with the threads. So I'm happy to say I'll be able to use the original hardware off of the shoes back on the shoes. And you may have seen earlier, I went and took the pin to the tracks and treated it for rust treatment. And today, I've got these big old nuts off of the sprocket and their associated lock washers and everything. And I've got a bunch of other miscellaneous hardware that goes to the final drive. Now, I've seen on the internet where people use ultrasonic cleaners. And since this hardware is a little fiddly and this stuff is rusted, I went and took a, about a pint or so out of the uh, 30 percent uh, vinegar solution that I've been using and it's pretty red uh, it's pretty dark because uh, all the rust that it took off of everything else but it's still usable so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go and let me start my recording here I'm gonna go and put this in the vinegar bath and see how it looks let me go zoom in just a little bit there we go. Now this has got miscellaneous hardware in it and I've got a bunch of nuts here that are rusty and crusty and a bunch of big old lock washers that are rusty and crusty and we're going to drop them in there. Actually you know what I'm going to separate that into two batches because one of the things you need to do with an ultrasonic cleaner you don't want stuff bunched up on top of each other sitting on each other so I'm gonna actually spread these little bolts out so that they got plenty of space around each one of them and then we're gonna go and dunk it in here and I've set it to heat it up to about 120 degrees <coughs> and we're gonna set the timer here for 20 minutes. We'll see what it looks like in about 20 minutes.
I stopped it after about 10 minutes because these parts are looking awfully clean. That's impressive. All that crud and stuff is gone. I've still got a little bit of cleanup to do on some rusty threads, but other than that, that that's looking great. So I'm going to go and drop them over in this other basket and come over here and dunk them in my baking soda and water solution. The baking soda and water solution will stop the chemical reaction with the vinegar. And when I dropped them in there, it started foaming up like an Alka-Seltzer tablet. And of course now, all that is stopped. So now I'm ready to go and put the big nuts for the uh, axle in here. They're probably crowded a little bit, but they'll be all right. There we go. And we'll go and set that for 10 minutes. Now that we let it run for about 10 minutes yeah all that stuff looks a lot cleaner than it did a few minutes ago there's uh, a lot less rust on there that's for sure let's go dunk them in the uh, uh, baking soda and water bath and they fizzed up like an Alka seltzer Give it a few seconds and it stops. And we're going to go and drop this in the bucket. Go put it in front of the fan and let it dry. And I'm going to take some more hardware and drop it in there. These are all miscellaneous bolts from various places on the tractor. And uh, let those run. come out of the bath it looks pretty clean we're gonna go dunk it in the baking soda and water stop that chemical reaction and I'll take these and put them over in front of the fan and let them dry off a little bit all of this hardware that I've gone and done this to I'm gonna go and take it to the wire wheel 
clean it up a little bit more, burnish it, get all the paint off, and then we'll be ready for rust treatment. And you know how that goes. Well, and this is the part I've been waiting on. I have worked on this stuff for several hours today. I've taken all of this hardware and I've taken it to the uh, bench grinder with the wire wheel. And after we went and ran everything in the uh, uh, ultrasonic washer, I am ready for Permatex rust treatment. A couple of shots of this stuff and I won't have to worry about this hardware uh, rusting again. Now I'm going to do the same thing I've done with this with the other stuff. I'm going to go and put three coats on it about two minutes apart and then we set them aside for 24 hours. And after that, I don't have to worry about this stuff rusting ever again. Now I'm going to go and hit it with the second coat and flip some of this stuff so we can get the other side of it. Here we go. I'm going to hit, hit them with one more coat and then I'm going to set them aside. Now I'm going to hit them with the last coat. Now we get to let them sit for 24 hours. Then we can do stuff with them. Thanks for hanging out with me today and getting a few things done. Got a bunch of hardware taken care of and cleaned up. I know it didn't take you very long to watch this, but I've been working 
pretty much all day. It's uh, just after four o'clock now. So I've been out here close to uh, what? Almost, almost eight hours. <laughs> I don't have a lot to show for my work, but uh, yeah, when this stuff goes back, like I say, I'll never have to worry about it rusting again. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming and hanging out and come back and see us.